This is a perfect cold appetizer recipe to spread on French baguette and to share with good friends, with a glass of wine, of course. In France, people serve it with pickled small onions and cornichons. Cornichons are tiny pickled gherkins. It will sometimes be part of an assiette anglaise or British plate. One way wonder, as the British are not that famous for their cooking. Anyway, an assiette anglaise is a plate with various types of cold meats, including ham, dry sausages, and patties. Chicken livers marinated in port wine, milk, cream, flour, butter, white wine, garlic, herbs, parsley, sage, thyme, salt, pepper, egg, chopped onion, and chopped shallot. Start to prepare your terrine. A terrine is a ceramic or china dish with a lid and the lid has a little hole. So you want to make sure you have a terrine because the steam can go through and escape. Start to chemiser the terrine. Chemiser, it comes from chemise, which is a shirt. And you chemise a ramekin, you chemise a terrine, which is the action to grease with butter usually and coat it with flour or sugar if it is a sweet souffle. This is the butter that I've just melted in the microwave. Brush well. Everywhere. Good. Then take about a tablespoon of extra flour, add it on the inside and shake. I think there is a song like that. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. So move the flour. So move the flour up to the edge, all around. Okay, good. Then remove the excess. So flip the terrine on the board and tap it. Combine the cream and the milk. Then add the onions, the shallot, and the garlic in the blender. Then process until very, very fine. Stop the machine, and with your spatula, clean the sides to remove all the big bits of onions or shallot that could have been projected on the side of the bowl. Process again. And really go on high speed to make it very, very fine. Then add the rest of the ingredients, so the liver with the port wine, the eggs, one at a time, add. Always break the egg one at a time and pour it into the mixture because just in case you hit a bad egg. Then add the flour, the remaining butter, the white wine, and the herbs. So the thyme, the sage, and the parsley. The parsley, we need about a tablespoon finely chopped, which is about a good half cup of leaves before chopping it. Then we're going to put seasoning with salt, a good uh, like a half teaspoon to start with, and freshly ground peppercorns. 
bird shells have a special salt that keeps the liver pink. It prevents the oxidation of the blood. You, I'm sure you don't have that at home, so then add a pinch of sugar. Then blend again on high speed until totally smooth. Then take a spoon, a little bit of the mix, put it in a ramekin and cook it for a few seconds in the microwave because we are going to taste it in order to see if there is enough seasoning. Mm, smells good. It's going to be hot. It's nice. I can put a little bit more paper. Salt is good though. Process again. Done. Transfer to your terrine. So hold the blade and pour. Cover with the lid, then fill the bain with boiling water. Bake in a pre oven for about an hour. The pate has been cooking for one hour, so remove it from the oven. It has puffed a little bit. Then place the terrine over a plate and allow the pate to cool down for about an hour and then refrigerate it overnight. Do not be surprised by the color of our pate. It's not as pink as the terrine that you may find in a store because there is no preservatives and food coloring. It's 100% natural. Enjoy having our pâté with a nice crusty bread, gherkins and a few pearl onions. Bon appétit!